And when I mention the Seedman House and when I mention the archives that exist here, usually what I get is a blank look on the part of most of my students. A is to where the Seedman House is, even though they've walked by it numerous times, but uh, also the fact that there are archives here. So for a number of them, this is uh, unknown. The Seedman House is home to the University Archives and the Special Collections. They're two different things um, operating in the same building. The University Archives is all the information from the University from its founding up to now. So you can see a lot of documents, um, old documents that you would normally see in history classes or anything like that. The actual documents are here. They emphasize that these collections are not just to be, to be put away and uh, that nobody knows about, but uh, we, we hope that, that people actually come in to use them. To be able to hold a book from the 15th century and to think of all of the eyes and people who have touched that book, it just stirs up history and feelings that um, you don't get from holding perhaps a paperback that you might buy online or something. It was cool to be able to actually touch the books. I know when you learn about information a lot and you learn about the history of of the documents, it kind of seems esoteric and out there. When you actually get to touch it, it's real and it's there, it's in your hands, it's really cool. It is something that, uh, you know, a lot of students don't have access to and clearly at Grand Valley, they do. And once they learn about it, they're really excited to come in here and actually come back to use the materials. Now the Seedman House is our special collections library, but in addition to that, it's the uh, quiet study space on campus, complete with a fireplace and views of the ravine and woods. It's kind of the hidden gem of Grand Valley that there's this kind of hidden quiet study space that you can sit here and do homework and nobody really knows about it so there aren't really any other people here. To have a building on campus that overlooks a ravine nestled in the woods that you forget really that you're on campus but you're in this quiet reflective study space is just phenomenal to me. Yeah, you know, the reactions of my students are fairly uniform and always positive. They are completely awed by what they find. It's important, I think, for students to know that the collection exists and that it's special, but that doesn't mean that it's not for students. It is for students. I mean, it's, it's part of our university. And also that this study space is here. Um, I think we have a lot of different kinds of study space on campus, but for students who especially want some place quiet where they can reflect or read or just be by themselves a little bit, this is the best place on campus for that. And the archives are really cool. I mean, even if you don't have history classes or studying history or anything like that, it's, it's a part of our lives and it's cool to be able to see and touch the history that was actually there in these books. Whether or not you're, you're reading a letter from 1862 from a Civil War doctor or whether you want to come back and study back by the fireplace while you're watching the snowfall. Uh, it, it really is just a wonderful place to be.